All right, hello and welcome. We are back into the Halloween season recommendations. This time we'll be looking at a game called Infection. Infection is actually based on an older zombie game. Zombie shooter game to be precise. This game specifically is a little bit different from our previous zombie game also known as Those Who Remain. You can check out the video in the eye icon in the top right. Infection is a zombie shooter game where there's a lot of players inside a big giant house and a few people, either one or two people, are selected at random to become a zombie. The zombies have to infect the players and the players have to survive the whole round to win. As the timer proceeds to tick downward, zombies unlock more zombie choices to choose from. So in the beginning you'll get a standard zombie, a little bit of time goes by, maybe a few seconds. Then you get the fast zombie, then you get a transparent zombie, you know, like a ghost. Then you get a fire one, a cold one, and so on and so on. You get a tough tank or you get an explosive one near the end. Zombies like those, ones that can benefit you later on in the game. So the players, what can they do? The players are equipped with whatever guns or weaponry that they have selected from the main menu which appears when you join the game or when you finish a round. Similarly to those who remain, players can purchase guns and there's a large amount of guns and weapons to choose from. But that's not just all of it. Inside the actual match you can collect these items called cogs and these you can use at a bench and at the bench you can purchase one of the three items to build with the cogs you have collected. Are you a new player with a starting gun and you feel its way too weak? Just go around the sewer system collecting cogs and then build a sentry unit and maybe a barrier to protect you. The barrier doesn't protect you from physical damage, it protects you from elemental damage if that makes sense. So fireballs and snow or freezing uh, orbs, I'll call them, do not harm you if you're within the barrier. But if a zombie is inside the barrier or you're getting hit with a whip by a cowboy, then the cowboy will successfully rope you in and capture you, which then you'd be at a disadvantage. So just keep that in mind. The game is really fun with friends and with random players because at the end of the day you're killing zombies and having fun. As zombies you will have a difficult time but eventually you should be evenly matched with the survivors unless you're up against an experienced player who has better weapons maybe. Either way you play, if you're a zombie or if you're a player, have each other's back. It's a teamwork game. Survive as long as you can to get as much points as you can. Or if you're a zombie, kill as much as you can and help the team out. Alright guys, we're at the very, very end of it actually. Because uh, the zombies have been unlocking. And as you can see right there, the boss zombie... He's going to be able to be selected in 30 seconds. So we got all of these. We got normal, fast, fire, ghost, ice, lasso, and boomer. I, I called the lasso a cowboy. He's got a cowboy emoji. So I mean, I guess it works. <laughs> we're going to select this one and we're going to deploy. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Thank you, game. Very cool. But we got five humans remaining, we got three minutes to kill them, and there's nine of us. So we can, we can do this. Okay, so this is a cog, which you use at a cog, gear, whatever you want to call it. You use it at a crafting stations. Okay, good, he went. Now I can come over here and hopefully get a kill. 50 damage?! You can craft that gun that he had. You can craft it at one of the stations. I believe there's two stations inside of the house. And there might be three in the sewers. There's a crafting station. Here's one. Yeah, there's only two. Behind the house is a sewer system. 
it's good to go in the sewer system if you're a player a little bit into the medium game kind of range you don't want to enter it too late because you're probably going to get overwhelmed in the beginning nice <laughs> the turrets are back there and you can uh you can build them at a crafting station <clears throat> I don't know how good the boss zombie is. I usually only use the fire zombie, the ghost, and sometimes the lasso, but I don't really use the boss. They gotta be good players to get this far. There's only a minute, 30 seconds left. There's a person there. Looks like he's got a good weapon, so I'm a little afraid. I think it'd be Good, we go, not this way. Are they thinking of this? Did they just bait me into going the wrong way? I don't know my health either. So that turret is gonna be harming me majorly. Yeah, I got screwed there. I'm gonna go as the explosive dude. <laughs> uh, I usually like you know, the, the zombies that have an ability, like the fireball, the speedy zombie, or the ghosts. Sneaky ones, I suppose. <clears throat> I think a zombie died over there, so I'm gonna try and help him out. Or is he lagging? I don't know if he's lagging. Looks like he's patrolled or AFK. I don't know where they're at. There's only one zombie. So I got, I mean one human. So I think he's further. Oh, here he is. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he's just hiding. There's four seconds. You can't tell me that this man won. No way. He won with four seconds at the end. Does he actually get rescued, or does he have to make it? No, he makes it! No way! Oh man, good game, I guess. I, I joined late. As you can see, my score is very low. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty neat. I didn't expect the players to win. I thought we had maybe half a second, I mean half a minute left. But oh well. There's a ton of stuff you can get. Baseball bats, med kits, hammers, guns, everywhere. So there's a lot that you can get uh, for loadouts. And it's it's not as grindy as, uh, what's it called? Those who remain. This game is more lenient, I suppose. We got three weapons, because I'm still a new player. <laughs> Uh, there's only two zombies right now. I think guarding the house is a good safe idea for the beginning and Then once there's a little bit more maybe maybe we'll head out to the sewer system Usually AFK dudes or dudes that go alone uh, Usually die. I don't know what Q and F are I actually never saw those buttons before, or noticed them, rather. I want to check if there was a zombie by the wall. Because if so, then uh, I could have assisted. But nah, there wasn't. Four zombies. I think right about now would be a good safe bet to get to the sewers. Bro! Yeah, the air outside is poisonous, so you want to be sheltered somewhat. The sewer system is technically sheltered, like a bunker, if you think of it like that. <laughs> they came in here quickly, I didn't expect that. They probably got all the gears. Probably, probably, probably. Yeah, I don't see any. Just one dude way back there. We're gonna have to get into the late game for gears. 
by killing zombies. Which is a little bit tedious, but we can manage. We can definitely manage. We've been surviving, so we're getting points. These points will give us more money. Five zombies. We're at five. There's lasers shooting. I believe there's a few entities that spawn. Okay, I didn't know if he was shooting something or, you know. Uh, we're just looking for gears. I feel bad taking that one because he was right there, but it would, I need some. There's uh, entities like a battle mage, I think it's called, and some bats that spawn to attack players. Do not want to face off a battle mage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Battle mage. Shit. Alright. You really need to stick with buddies to survive. You can take that friend. Uh, you were super low on health, so definitely you can take that. I don't want a battle mage to get behind me. That's a thing. It kind of happened there, but I really, really don't want it to happen anymore. I think there was a bat over there, but I'll let them do that. I'm gonna come over here and help if I can. <laughs> Sometimes greed is good, but God, I do not want to die by going up there. I'll be supporting if I can. I've got a good amount of health, so I'll be supporting. I wish a dude would go back and get some health. Because he's super low. Yeah, fire zombies are a big annoyance. Yo! Get back and get some health, buddy. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Nice, nice. Go back, dude. Go back. No. I'm slow. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I wanted them to survive. Alright, alright. Let's get into it. We're gonna go as a fire zombie. I like playing as a fire zombie. <laughs> I really didn't want my teammates to die because they were getting low. I had a little bit more faith in myself. So I wanted to take the front line a bit. Oh, one human remaining. That was a major shift. All right, all right. Let's just get the human, and then let's get those points. I think I did a good job surviving for quite a while. So, uh, oh, there he is. Fire zombies, I believe, are a little bit weaker. Not as weak as uh, speedy zombies are, but uh, I know they're not as, you know, tanky. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude! I just... Oh, I really wanted the kill. I wanted it, dude. He's going to come around probably up here. Nice! Dude, nice! We got the kill. Nice. GG, GG. All right, not bad, 507. We make 1,310 coins. Not bad at all. <clears throat> I'll take it. That is good. <laughs> uh, we could buy some other stuff. I'm saving up for this one though. It looks nice. But that's that's pretty much the game. We didn't uh, we weren't able to collect cogs as efficiently. So I couldn't craft anything. I'll head in, I'll maybe pick up a few cogs, and then I'll check out the workbench. I believe we need like five or six minimum. So I'm not, you know, too enthusiastic about crafting. Or being able to craft, rather. Okay, it's just a heal. Looking around, looking around. 
I believe there's a crafting table right over there. But there's one up here. This is the one I usually use. It's in the corner location, so it's pretty good defensively. Uh, we need six for that, five for the barrier, ten for the turrets. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole game. Once you have it, I believe a little thing will pop up for placement. If you get the turret, or if you... Uh, the turret alone, the sentry. Or if you get the barrier. The shoulder ones are automatic. They'll just go on top of you. Let me see if I can support my teammates a little bit. Kind of just wanted to spray. I'm going to give it to him. I don't, I don't think he noticed, but I dropped it for him. But yeah, that's that's the whole game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recommendation. It's a fun little game that you can check out. It's not a major game, but it's, it's one of the smaller ones that you can just play a few rounds and enjoy. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. And I think I will see ya. Take it, buddy. <laughs> All right. See ya.